Okay, we'll try this again. I keep getting interrupted. You swear I do something all day. Okay, so we're looking at page 293, number 8b, where we're trying to prove that the left side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of that equation. Now, usually you try and figure out which side is more complex, and most people would intuitively try to attack the sine 2x and cos 2x using the double angle identities. I, however, am going to do a little intuitive trick of changing tan into sine over cosine first, and then see what we can do. So I recognize that the tangent of x is sine divided by cos, so I'm going to change what I see here on the right-hand side as sine x over cos x, and I'm going to take the denominator and write that as sine over cos x. And then while I'm at it, I uh, recognize that adding these up, I'm probably going to need a common denominator. So I'm going to write 1 as cos over cos on top and bottom. That way, I will already have my common denominator. So the numerator is going to be cos of x minus sine of x over cos. The denominator is cos plus sine. Over cos, cosine and both top and bottom would cancel out, <coughs> excuse me, leaving cos minus sine onto cos plus sine of x. Well, that doesn't look at all like 1 minus sine 2x and cos 2x. So I'm going to try multiplying just for pure intuitive sake. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate on here of cos x minus sine x. The reason I would try and do that is because what's going to be left around here is a whole bunch of sine squareds and cos squareds and hopefully something is going to happen with that. So cos minus sine on top and bottom when we multiply. So the numerator will foil out. You will get cos squared of x. Outside is a minus sine x cos x. Inside is the same thing. And the last is sine squared, and it's a positive. In the denominator, you will have cos squared of x, not an equal there. So we have cos squared of x, then minus sine cos plus sine cos minus sine squared x. What I'm looking at here, cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So I have 1 minus a sine x cos x and a sine x cos x will make 2 sine of x cosine of x. And that should ring a bell for us. In the denominator, I have a minus sine x cos x and plus sine x cos x. They cancel. So I have cos squared of x minus sine squared of x. And the whole time I'm trying to make this equal, 1 minus 2 sine, sorry, 1 minus sine 2x over cos 2x. Well, I'm pretty much there now. 2 sine x cos x is sine 2x. And cos squared x minus sine squared x is cos of twice the angle. So I can rewrite what I have here as 1 minus sine 2x over cos 2x. And other than me copying that down incorrectly, so that's exactly what we were trying to search for at the beginning.